Okay, so you remember this part, with the shield. <clears throat> it's uh, basically it eats up pretty bad after a while. Right in here, I went ahead and cleaned this out. I'm gonna leave this piece in. Just kind of dispensates the oil away from the center of the shaft. Um, here's another piston. We gotta change this one out, and the one on the exhaust next but we're gonna hold off on that um, this shield right here comes in the kit it's right here it's the same exact shield as you can see everything is just the same this one got really wore out if you look it started to close off it started to close off the hole right there so it wouldn't wasn't gonna get any more oil um, yeah so they go ahead and replace that. Okay, so we're back to the second part of the assembly. Um, you're gonna get the the oil guide, and basically the bit it rides on it like a bearing. This is the core where it goes over the shaft. It basically it goes just like this. Okay, you see the three the two holes right there. They're gonna line up with the two pins right here. Okay, there's an open channel where oil will flow through up, and this will guide it onto the shaft properly. Okay, so basically, this part goes down. This is where it rides down like this. It's going to go right in the shaft, just like that. But before it does, you're going to slide it through here, just like this, on top. Then you're going to set it down in there, and it's going to line it with the two holes. So, I'll see if I can do this one more time for you so you can get a quick, easy visual. This part with all the channel and stuff goes down, face down, okay? And then this slides onto that, just like that. Then it goes straight down onto the guides, which you can't, you can't miss them. Alright, and you're going to have right where the V is, it's gonna, that's where the thing goes, right like that. It's just that simple. Okay, so... Now we're going to take these piston rings off. And the easiest way to do it is just get a pick or whatever. Just be careful. Or a pair of uh, needle nose pliers would work really well. Just like putting on a piston ring kind of in a way. And that's it. That one broke right off. So that tells you about how great it was. Now we're going to do the same thing with this one. Just kind of lift up and pull make sure you wear some safety glasses so you're just going to lift up and kind of push up because we're going to get it out of there here we go just got to kind of keep on working it off try not to ruin the there we go well off to one onto the next so you have to clean out that galley eventually so now you got to go to the second one this one's a lot easier kind of run it there we go and then they come right off once you get them in this uh, turbine shaft on the exhaust side you want to go ahead and scrape out all the resin where the piston ring would be um, because if you don't uh, this ringling right here will uh, prevent the ring to seal properly just like on a piston ring if you don't clean out those ringlins uh, the ring, the oil, the burnt resin and stuff will push out the ring and it will prematurely wear and then you'll be leaking oil or getting blow by, whatever. Okay, so now you have that all cleaned up really well. You're going to grab your piston ring. There's a new one. Okay, you're going to go ahead and slide it over the shaft. pull up basically you're gonna pull on one work it onto that one and then you're gonna slide your finger and kind of angle it just one of them kind of push it over to the other side and hold it and kind of work your way around this is this is not easy it's but be careful not to break it because you, you could very well break it you don't want to lift up you kind of want to just slide it over 
So you hold it right there and you just work it little by little. Just like a piston ring. Just little increments at a time. And eventually it'll slide right over there. If you need a, just a little help lifting it, just give it a little bit of pry. There we go. And then, there you are. Now you got the piston ring in there. There's a lot more life to that. And look, see how free it is in there? That's what you want. This one is very clean, so I'm not worried about it. So we're going to take this ring. Now this one's very delicate, so just be careful. You're just going to put it on top, just like this. Start off with one side. See how we got one side over? And then you're just going to round it off. And that's it. Once you get it on there, just give it a little slide down. And that's it. It's on there. Take this gasket for the intake side. Always use assembly lube when you're assembling everything. I'm just going to put a little extra right in here. <clears throat> put some on the and on the inside because that's where it's going to ride on that so it's going to go just like this where all you see all of the extra galleys the other side doesn't have as many this is the top side so we're going to put it just like this and then we're going to assemble it now there's two guides right here and we're just going to set that right on top just like that the backing of the housing we're going to go ahead and put some engine assembly lube on there too because that's where it's going to rub a little bit. Just kind of smear it on in there. Okay, my teeth are right here in the front where they're open. Where they're separated on the piston ring. Okay? So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to tilt it this way and then come down on it. I'm not going to want to come down this way because that the teeth are open right here in the front. So I want to kind of close the teeth from the back, like push them shut, alright? So that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna push them shut. You're gonna come in at an angle a little bit and then wiggle them shut and that's it, close the teeth. If you come to the front, it's not gonna close, it's gonna bend the, the piston ring and you're gonna have problems. And then you're gonna flip it over and you can line up your uh, bolts that you just originally had. Clean them up maybe a little bit, make them a little easier. I'm just going to get mine started. Just put one on there for temporary. Okay, don't forget to put your shield on like I did. <laughs> Alright, so before you put the shaft in there, you're going to put your shield on. Alright. Then you're going to go put your shaft in. Same thing, be careful when you're dropping this in there. It's going to take a little bit of force. Just a little bit, not much, don't go crazy. There we go. Be careful with that piston ring. Now once you get that in there, you're just going to kind of wiggle it a little bit, little taps. Make sure that piston ring ain't going to get stuck. Alright, there we go. And then just kind of give it wiggles back and forth. Pull it out if you have to. And there. Piston ring went in real nice. So basically you're going to just put that back on like that. Now remember it's uh, lefty tighty, righty loosey. Okay, so I pretty much just torqued it to what I felt was right. I have the Loctite on there. I just kind of torqued it till I felt it was just enough tight enough. There's no movement. Um, it's probably like maybe 10 foot pounds or something, but I got the Loctite on there, so it's not coming off. There we go. If you want it to stay on, just don't twirl it. Give it a twirl when you're pulling it. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm kind of going to 
maybe figure out where actually it should stay on there so we'll bring this and then we'll flip it right where the X is now you're going to take clamps or your brackets line them up you can see where I had marked it <clears throat> it's a little dark you could probably barely can make it out and then my line right there so I got I still got it loose I'm gonna put it in my car and then go ahead and adjust it a little bit because uh, it definitely has to be perfect or else it won't fit back in my car it's such a tight fit but uh, other than that well I hope you guys enjoyed this step-by-step uh, -step how to repair a Garrett AR60 turbocharger um, journal bearing turbocharger uh, if you guys like my videos uh, please subscribe like I said I do all kinds of different videos um, just a little bit here a little bit there's just random stuff sometimes mostly cars and computers but um, some other random stuff